I have a new video for you guys because we need to talk about Machine Gun Kelly. This rapper turned rock star has a troubling past. Even Megan Fox cannot distract from some of his past tweets and shocking interviews. The biggest problem with Machine Gun Kelly is he's never been held accountable for what he's done. He also doesn't see anything wrong with it. So let's get into it. Before we get into this video, here is a quick message from our sponsor. Caseify is a tech accessory brand with unique and protective cases for your iPhone, AirPods, they also have watch bands, and many more accessories. Caseify cases are slim and protective. They are designed with a two-layer construction of Caseify's Chi-Tech and are drop test approved for up to 6.6 .6 feet. Military grade drop protection, and that's way better than any phone case you'll get off of Amazon. As you guys can see, I feel 100% comfortable dropping my phone in one of these impact cases from Casetify because I know my phone will be alright. Also, you can express yourself with your case because Casetify offers so many customizations, the options are endless. I picked this adorable case with a Shih Tzu on it because it looks just like my puppy and I love it. These cases can not only protect your phone but can also protect you. Casetify's antimicrobial coating will keep your phone germ free and kills 99% of bacteria. On top of that, their products are made with 50% recycled material, so you can feel good about your purchase. Go to casetify.com slash Sloan, S-L-O-A-N, to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. Thank you, Casetify, and enjoy this video. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to be talking about Machine Gun Kelly. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to call him Colson Baker because that is his real name. Colson is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and he's an actor, which we'll be talking about one of his recent movies later on in this video. He's currently 31 years old, and I believe he's at the peak in his career. He has been in the industry for quite some time. He actually dropped a mixtape back in 2007 and 2008. That's back when he was doing more rap, but more recently he's transformed his sound into more of a rocker sound And that's the vibe he kind of gives off and it's doing well for him Let's take a look at Colson's early life So he was born in Houston, Texas, but he's lived in almost a dozen places Including Egypt and then he moved to Denver, Colorado That's when his mother left his father and started a new life with a new man He was only nine years old and his mom was just out of his life Life. This created a rough upbringing for Colson, and on top of that, he had a disapproving father. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but he said it in an interview back in 2012, so it looks like he doesn't have a good relationship with either of his parents. I do have sympathy for people who come from troubled households because I do believe that that's a huge part in why some people are so screwed up. I mean, nobody comes from a perfect family. Trust me. But I do believe those moments when you are very young and your brain is developing, those are the most vulnerable moments in your life. And if you have a very poor family structure, like what Colson had, it will set you up for failure. And Colson has done some really unexplainable things throughout the years. So I do want to give you guys a trigger warning before we get into it, because he talks about minors in ways that he shouldn't. And he also just says some really offensive things. But let's go ahead and get into some of his problematic past. In this tweet from 2010, the same year as his second mixtape, he wrote, I wish 13, 14, 15 year old girls weren't allowed to be so hot. So I wouldn't feel like such a creeper when I look at them. I'm still... <laughs> Even Bunny has something to say about that. I'm still 19. Hashtag, I'm just saying. Um... Ew. There's obviously no excuse for tweeting out something like that so disgusting as an adult, a 19 year old, and you're even telling the world like, why are these little 13 year olds like so hot? It shouldn't be allowed. Well, it shouldn't be allowed for you to go and creep on them. And that's actually not the worst tweet he's put out before because he's also tweeted about someone's daughter in particular. 
So in the year 2012, he tweeted out, okay, I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter, and I have to say that she's hot as F in the most respectful way possible because Eminem is king. And this was the birth of Eminem and Machine Gun, you know, Colson's feud. I do believe that Colson at the time was trying to get some clout off the situation and wanted to bring up Eminem. And of course, Eminem is the type to fight back. So these two have actually gone at it for years and years. Three years after Colson posted that tweet, he claims that he was banned from radio stations because of his tweet about Eminem's daughter, Haley. But it wasn't just Colson who was affected by his own disgusting tweet. Haley, Eminem's daughter, also had something to say about it. She shared in an interview that his tweet made her extremely uncomfortable and that she doesn't want to be in the middle of their fighting. There's a six year age gap between Colson and Haley, and this whole fight between between Colson and Eminem has been going on for four years, and Haley doesn't like being in the middle of it. She doesn't like the attention and that she wishes that Colson wouldn't involve her. She lives a quiet life and she's not about the rap world. It is one thing for her dad to rap about her, which is something that he's always done, but now that others are talking about her too, it makes her uncomfortable with all of the attention. And you would think that maybe Colson would respect someone who is a private person. She's never tried to be a celebrity or influencer. Maybe he should step back and just like beef with Eminem and not include his young daughter. But there are a lot of things that Colson probably shouldn't have done and we need to react to some of them and this is probably the worst one of them all because he does an interview in 2013 where he's asked about a celebrity crush and he talks a little bit about Kendall Jenner who's obviously a very beautiful woman but at the time she was still a minor but he didn't care and he was very upfront with that in an extremely uncomfortable way. So the reporter just asked him, who was your first celebrity crush? And here's what he had to say. I don't care who my first celebrity crush was, because right now it was Kendall Jenner. <laughs> Damn it, I've said that so many mother times. I hope that I'm snagging that. <laughs> don't let me move to LA. Oof. Are I'm finding down, her. Are you counting down the days until she's 18? I'm not waiting until she's 18. I'll go now. I'm 23, dog. Like, I'm not like a creepy age, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm 23, bro. She's 17 and she's like a celebrity. Like, there, there's no, there is no limits right there. Hold up. So he's 23, she's 17. There's about a six year age gap. And he is trying to justify it by saying that she's a celebrity and that uh, he would go in and just get it if he could. That was like, very aggressive, but also really weird how he just like was very dismissive over the fact that she is a minor. And he actually goes on to try to justify his statement by saying that there was another celebrity in Hollywood who used to have a very young girlfriend. So again, um, using this example doesn't make it any more right. It just shows how Hollywood is so disturbingly wrong. Robert Plant, who is one of the greatest lead singers ever, for all y'all don't know, he sung for Led Zeppelin, dated a girl that was 14. Axl Rose, who was one of the biggest badasses ever, dated a girl that was 16 and wrote a song on his first album about the girl that was 16. I don't care. Say what you want, man. If Kendall Jenner is in your bedroom naked and you're 50, you're going. He said, if you're 50, you're going. So she's 17 years old, and he's saying that a 50-year-old would just, like, wouldn't be able to help himself. He also dragged Robert Plant into this, which he has nothing to do with anything that he was talking about. He was so incorrect. Colson was trying to bring up the situation that happened between Jimmy Page, where he was rumored to have dated a 14-year-old, but that was only a rumor, and of course, Colson had nothing to say about this whole interview. There's one more segment I want to bring up from this interview, and pretty much the reporter asks him if he ever texts people, but like with an S, like the inappropriate way, when you take pictures of yourself and stuff, which I always encourage you guys, don't do that, because that's something I've always been like very fearful. Well, I've never really taken pictures of myself, because like, I don't like my body, so I'm, like, not over here to take a picture of it, nor do I have that to send to anyone, but also, I just think, like, taking pictures like that is so risky, and it's really not worth it at the end of the day, and Snapchat is, like, a creepazoid land, so I don't know. Stay away from creeps that are trying to get pictures from you. It could be someone like Colson, and at the end of the day, like, you shouldn't trust someone like this, but let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say about this whole texting with an S. Have you ever Have I ever Oh my god, dude, my phone is filthy. It's the worst. Girls don't even, like, you know when girls, like a girlfriend, like, grab your phone to see what you're up to? Like, girls know how bad it is that they won't even, like, they don't even want to see, like, the extent, like, 
guys don't even want to see the extent. Like guys don't even want to like be like, oh, what, what are you doing over here? Oh, let me read. Like it's like so nasty that it's it's kind of like just like a <laughs> it's it's a bad it's like a bad book to read. I was just about a shower. That was crazy. That's always like. But it's like the, if you have the right person with the right connection, like that's a crazy little experience. Okay, so first off, the music with that interview does not line up. Second off, why does he think, like, does he obviously doesn't have a publicist or anyone who's telling him, like, not to say these things, but also, what type of human says these things? Like, what type of person in their brain's like, yeah, I'm gonna, like, spill it all and just really trash himself. Like, that interview is so haunting. If I were him, I would have, like, try to get it scrubbed from the internet or something because there's just no coming back from that. Especially trying to justify like the whole thing with Kendall Jenner saying like, oh yeah, she's a celebrity. Like it just like, it confirms everything we've talked about when it comes to Hollywood, that nobody is safe here and there's really no rules. It's a lawless land for those who have money and power. Let's switch gears a little bit and talk about the time that Coulson made some really, really insensitive remarks. I cannot say the ism word on here when you know when you were talking about race because for some reason, and YouTube has it blocked, so we can't say the actual R word or any word like that. Um, I'm going to use the term slur because that's what they are, and he claims that he's never said any such slur. He actually posted on Facebook about seven years ago, you will never in my entire life hear me say a slur, the one that's offensive towards black people, don't be the dude who tries to pen BS like that on me, I'll smack you. So he's over here saying that I'm not the type of person who would say that type of slur, but he did in fact, and in a really horrific way. Here's an interview that you guys may find really triggering, so I'm giving you guys a heads up now, but he's talking about black women and he believes that they're good at like doing things to him. It's just a really gross conversation and the way that he's so disrespectful to black women is just unforgivable. You recently um, tweeted that you like uh, chocolate milk. You know, I'm, I'm chocolate, you know. Yeah, no, I didn't. I'm gonna tell you like this. My child's black. Oh, we didn't know that. Black girls give the best I do want to mention, yes, he does have a child. This is probably the only part I'll mention this. Um, he does post about her on Instagram, and it seems like he has a good relationship with his daughter now, but there's not much out there about her, which is probably good for her own safety. Do they now? 100%, yeah. Really? So black... Facts. I okay, so, th you know, that's funny because usually we're told that we don't. Okay, no, no. Now, this is what y'all do. Now, this is... Y'all either give the best you say you don't give him. Most of y'all say, I don't do that. Unless you're my man, you know what I'm saying? Like, whereas you just need to show your skills because black girls give the best 100%. The way that he just generalizes black women is so incredibly ignorant. Like, how do you even speak about a whole part of the population like that? But let me give you guys some, like, a context about the setting. So he was at a BET Awards show right here, and he's obviously being interviewed. And there was actually, so there's a black woman who's interviewing him, and there's another black woman who is standing behind that interview, E, the reporter. And pretty much that woman was overhearing what Colson was saying, and she was so disgusted by it that she kind of like scoffed and just like turned around and walked away because she didn't want to hear the ignorant things he was saying. If I was if I was that woman, I wouldn't either. I would feel extremely uncomfortable. And you see that his whole demeanor switches when he sees that woman leave and that's when he uses this slur and it's obviously going to be blocked out in this video but for someone who's over here on Facebook posting like oh I've never said anything like this well yes you have and it's on video so imagine how many times he said it and we don't have it on video just got, it's just it's just the mother and the difference just walk the away then you dirty yeah weak ass dress and fake ass Louis Vuitton purse I'll go in on this are a wild boy. Hair all up, lipstick smeared everywhere. Out of here, you look like you just got done giving. Anyway, that's all that needs to happen, man. Okay. You just need to need to embrace embrace the. He said dirty and then the slur. Obviously, I blocked it out so you guys cannot hear it. But holy crap, that is so horrific the way that he spoke about her i mean i feel like as a reporter i would have been like okay you are cut off dude i'm not giving you any more mic time but i'm glad that she did record that because we could see his true colors of course colson has never taken accountability for this or anything else when he was asked about it he said it was an effing compliment very aggressive and i just think that uh taking accountability is the first step at becoming a better person and i wouldn't want to support someone like this or have my children listening to music from someone like this if this is how he acts 
attacks or speaks towards women. Now let's go ahead and switch gears again because I want to talk about his relationship with Megan Fox. I think we briefly brought it up in the beginning of this video, but I have made a video about Megan Fox. That's actually when I asked you guys if you wanted this video and everyone was like, yes, so I did it. So if you guys have not seen that first video about Megan Fox, definitely go check it out. But of course, they are a very poppin' couple right now. They're everywhere and everyone really likes them because they're kind of a fascinating pair. But the beginning of their relationship wasn't that great because he was actually in a relationship with someone else. And I do feel like the beginning of the relationship, like if you both are like dating other people or if it starts with cheating or something bad like that, it's really not a good sign for the rest of the relationship. Like if he's going to be cheating on like his girlfriend with you and then now you're his girlfriend, it's like, mm, well, he might cheat on you the next time he's like around a, a big time actress <laughs> filming a Hollywood movie. So of course, I'm talking about his relationship with Summer Rae because she spilled all the tea on the impulsive podcast and claims that Colson cheated on her with Megan. Let's go ahead and react to some clips from that interview and then we'll talk a little bit more about his relationship with Megan Fox. And you guys know, like, I've never like hooked up with a celebrity in my life. I did a Colson, never had sex with him. I'm like, I have to make sure like you're someone good to me. Like, I'm not going to make you a number if you're not good to me, you know? So Colson just never passed the test. <laughs> you guys might be thinking that Summer was a little bit harsh there. I mean, oh my gosh, she didn't need to go there. But I'm glad that she's very upfront with that. And like, it's good for her that she didn't do it with him because he literally went and cheated on her. But the thing is, I don't really feel bad saying that because he did kind of cheat on me with Megan Fox. So it's kind of like, because <laughs> uh, if you look at the timeline of us dating, we were together in Puerto Rico. He, he said, come to Puerto Rico with me. And I said, Okay. The reason why Colson invited Summer to go to Puerto Rico was because he was actually filming a movie there. The movie is called Midnight in Switchgrass, and it actually came out like July 23rd, so like what, a week ago, but it doesn't look like it's got that great of reviews. I haven't seen it yet. Comment below if you guys have seen it, but this was a movie that he was shooting in Puerto Rico. He brought Summer with her, and guess who else is in the movie? Megan Fox, and that's when they met. Luckily for Colson, it doesn't look like Summer holds too much resistance on this situation and she says in this little snippet that she would have done the same thing because Megan Fox is just so hot. So I wait in the ho uh, hotel the whole time when he's filming with her and I'm like, I'm not really thinking anything of it. Thing is, that's why I'm not even mad about it. I'm like, dude, I'd probably do the same thing. This like, I'd cheat on Me Colson with Megan Fox. Like, if it was the other way around, I probably would be doing it's the same. possible. So then, but the thing that's not really fair about it is like he, um, he made me, and I probably would have never talked about this because I do not like to talk about this kind of stuff and I don't like to like air people's business, but he went to Twitter and made it seem like I was the devil. Like I broke up with him on his birthday. I got for like weeks and weeks after that from all his like cult following of like, you suck, blah, blah. So that little bit is actually why I'm including this segment in this video because I think it's kind of crazy that Colson went and sent his fans to go and hate on Summer when in fact he was cheating on Summer with Megan Fox. He did tweet out, she came and picked up all her stuff on my birthday. Nice. So again, sending a bunch of people to go hate on Summer because she just broke up with him on his birthday. Later on, he did add to that tweet and said he shouldn't have tweeted it because it's personal business and it's all like one-sided. But again, it does, he should have just deleted it then. In this next segment, you're going to watch Summer talk about Coulson and his music video for Bloody Valentine. And I feel like that's another huge clue that shows us that he was cheating on Summer and with Megan. And that's not a great way to start a relationship. That's not what it was at all. He just wanted to break up with me because he was dating Megan. Like, Megan, you know that music video that they shot? Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. the Bloody Valentine, whatever. I asked him... Um, like, oh, like why he didn't invite me to the music video. And he was like, oh, well, the COVID restrictions. No, like you, you can't come. It only can be my, he, and then that music video <laughs> came out. I was like. <laughs> So not only did he film a movie with Megan Fox, he also invited her to be in one of his music videos, Bloody Valentine, which is obviously about a relationship. It was posted on May 2020. And if you guys have not seen the video, it's uh, it's it's a cool video, but Megan Fox is pretty much the center of it all. It starts off with Coulson waking up in the morning and having Megan in his bed just staring at him. Throughout the video, she's like tying him up and doing things to him. Again, just like they're the only two people in this music video. Like I get COVID restrictions, we all do, but like, why couldn't he have his girlfriend at the time play 
the girlfriend in the music video. Mm, well, it sounds like he had another girlfriend he had play her. And the music video is very, like, sultry. So they're definitely, like, feeling each other. And I do believe at this point they were in a full-blown relationship while he was with Summer. And I think the reason why she left him was because she was so frustrated with their relationship or lack of that she just left. And it's kind of immature that he took that tweet and tried to shift the blame onto her when he was, in fact, cheating on her and had a whole nother thing going. I mean, Meg Megan and Coulson literally got their nails done for the music video to celebrate the music video. So these two are like this. It wasn't just like a, oh, we hired her to be the actress. Like, no, it's way more than that. And Summer Rae is right because they would have been in a relationship when he was doing all this stuff with Megan. But they supposedly broke up in April 2020. As you guys saw, he tweeted that on April 22nd. So they broke up that day. It looks like a month later is when Megan Fox and Coulson said, I love you to each other because he tweeted out on May 26, 2021 that they said I love you one year ago. So that would have been literally a month after they broke up. They said I love you. And maybe that's like their anniversary date when they first started dating, but it seems very close to his relationship with Summer. I'm a little bit biased when it comes to cheaters because cheating really hits home for me because just like I've had so many experiences with it, so it really irks me. Thank God like there wasn't really any children involved because his daughter isn't mothered by Summer Ray. But I do feel like it's just not a good look when you leave someone for someone else and it makes me think that that new relationship is probably unstable as well. But I guess Megan and Coulson are doing really well together because they're all over the red carpets. There's so many photos of them and actually... Colson posted a really bizarre picture on his Instagram titled, I wear your DNA, your blood, like around my neck. And it's literally a like ball of like, I'm assuming liquid with like a blood cell in it or like a blood something inside of it. And I'm assuming it's Megan's. And I'm just like, ew, like that's just like so, that's something like I'm not into. It actually reminds me, like remember when Angelina Jolie was dating some guy and she wore like a vial of his like, you know, the substance, like, oh, on the red carpet. I don't know if I can see the, say the B-L-O-O. -O. So that's why I'm like, so I need, like, someone on YouTube to tell me what I can and cannot say because I was told I can't say that word. But anyways, very bizarre in my opinion. And when it comes to Coulson, that's pretty much it. There are some other things. Like, there was one TikToker who went viral because she actually hung out with him and she called him sis when they were hanging out. And after that, he cussed her out and kicked her out of the restaurant and told her to go. It's a really bizarre story and it went viral on Instagram. So maybe I'll add a little snippet right here. Um, he actually, I accidentally called him Sith and he ended up cussing me out, calling me a dumb bitch, a weird bitch. I said I had to go to the bathroom and then I started crying and I left and we never saw each other again. So there's something definitely off when it comes to Coulson and it makes me worried for his relationship with Megan because I know they both like use ayahuasca which is some type of drink like thing that makes you like psych out or trip or something and like I just hope that they both aren't like trouble for each other because they're egging each other on and I can kind of see that because she's talked about like using things with him and doing substances and stuff that's just not cool and probably not great for someone who has shown a pattern of being unstable. But anyways I want to hear what you guys think about this video. Here's my email if you have any other video ideas for me. The part that really I can't get over is the Kendall Jenner part. I think that's so disgusting. And the whole like tweet where he's like 13, 14, 15, like what type of 19 year old is looking at a 13 year old and be like, oh yeah, she's hot. Like, please, like get some help. Anyways, I do have a PO box package item to open. It says open me ASAP Sloan. So I'm going to go ahead and open it for you guys today. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, it says you're the best. Oh, you're too nice. So let's go ahead and see what they sent me. Looks like we've got a a letter right here. If you guys ever want to send me anything and promote your small business or anything at all, I also will, if you send a card and you write like on letter, like don't open on camera, I'll read it personally and keep it close to my heart. Um, let's go ahead and see. So Ooh. Hi Sloan, I wanted to thank you for bringing attention to issues that most YouTubers won't. You have quickly become one of my favorite YouTubers. You are so kind. Oh, and you have such a big heart. Um, this free Britney shirt, oh my gosh, was made by my small business. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook, and she's got the business. I think it's Joyfully Jillian Creations. Anyone who mentions you gets 10% off. Oh, okay. So get 10% off. Thank you for supporting small businesses. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Julie. I think it's Julian or Julia. Julia? 
Julian's. I'm sorry, I can't read cursive, and this is kind of like in cursive, so I apologize. But this is awesome, and I love this little like, little sticker here. I like, mentioned this card for 10% off your order. Oh yeah, so get your 10% off, and definitely go check them out. It'll be linked below. I'm so excited for this shirt because I'm supposed to be going to LA. Um, ooh for the rally, the next rally in September. So I'm definitely going to wear this thin. Ooh, and it comes with a nice little ribbon too. Hey, packaging. Oh my gosh, I love this. Hello. Oh my gosh. Wait, and you got like, oh yes, this size is perfect for me. It says, it says small, but like this is definitely not a small because I'm a large and this is like a large. So this is perfect. And it says free Britney. Oh my gosh. And then the back it says, I just want my life back. It's been 13 years and it's enough. Britney Spears, Conservative Shapiro, 2021. Oh my gosh, you're going to see me in this. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this. I love this. You guys send me the best things. Thank you so much. And definitely go check out her small business. This material, the quality is like, it's such a thick, good shirt. You can tell it's like, it's, we're not working with Hanes out here, okay? Very nice. So thank you so much. Everything will be linked below. I really appreciate this. And look out for a picture of me in this. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.